Let's go over uh, Project Libre, so the project management software that we're going to use for this class. You can download Project Libre. You can go to their website and you can find the products, uh, Project Libre under the products. You can press download and you can find uh, Project Libre for different platforms. It's free. You have also blog, discussion groups. You can always go there and find more information about Project Libre. And you also have access to an online user guide. And the user guide covers everything that you need to know to develop a very comprehensive Project Libre um, project. Let's go over an example. I think that's the best way to learn a software. And the example that we're going to use is this uh, template for our engineering design class. And you have here five main tasks, understand the project, brainstorm, explore feasibility, prototype solution, evaluate. And inside of each main task, you have also subtasks. And we're going to develop this project management plan using Project Libre. And I also have here a bunch of documents that you need to produce throughout the year. And we are placing them in certain uh, points here in time. And we're going to see how can we add also that into Project Libre. And we're going to start by creating a project. When you open Project Libre, you're going to have access to different tabs, the file, the task, resource and view and under file you press new and you can start introducing here the information of your new project you can give any project name that you want i'm going to call here engineering design example give uh, here a name uh, or put introduce the name of the manager of the project you have the ability to do the project in two flavors forward schedule starts with that the project with a certain date and if you uncheck that, you will do the project from the finish date. I'm going to do a forward schedule and a couple of notes here that you can uh, have or add to your project. And you're presented with two views. You have the view on the left where you can um, add your tasks and you have several tabs associated with those tasks and you can hide the columns that you don't need and if you need to add a specific column just open that and scroll down until you find the respective column or I can go and press um, the letter that you want to for, for the first uh, the first letter of the item that you want to add so here I'm going to add the predecessors and also the resource names and you can move columns around to organize them as as you want on the right side you have the gantt chart the timeline you have the green line that indicates the today's date and you have a black dashed line that represents the start of the project now let's add tasks and subtasks we're going to make things easier first and we're going to add my first main task which is understanding the project and the respective subtasks meet with sponsors development requirements and research related solutions and if you notice here these tasks they start around week two and we also have them shifted by a week between each other let's add the tasks so you just need to press the row that you want to add that task I'm going to start by putting the understand the project and under duration you have different ways of introducing that information you can put days you can put weeks and if you want you can also put months all right I'm going to leave it like that for now and let's add subtasks going to include meet with sponsors develop the requirements doc and research related solutions 
All right, in order to make them subtasks, you're going to a different menu, the task menu. You're going to select your tasks and you're going to press the button indent. And when you do that, notice that the subtasks go underneath the task that was before that. And the same way that I was adding days, weeks and months, I can do the same thing for these subtasks. So we have five days for meet with the sponsors, 30 days for development requirements and 35 days for research related solutions. And notice that on the right, we're going to have the tasks color coded with blue and red. So red is the critical path. So it's the, the, the time that takes longest to finish your project from the start. And blue, you're still good. They can get delayed and everything is fine. And then I can start dragging and drop the relationship between tasks. And you see that um, Project Libre adds an arrow after we tell the tasks dependencies. And if I double click on those arrows, I have different ways of assigning those dependencies. So let's see the FF. FF means finish, finish, and is going to connect both tasks from the end. If I double click and I go SF, then connects the start to the finish. And the SS, the start, start. And this is the one that we want in our case. By default, starts with FS, which is the example between task two and task three. And I can also delay them by introducing some lag days. So they are delayed by five days. And I can add here tasks before. So notice that our project starts five days earlier than what we said initially there. So let's change, understand the project instead of starting on the 13th, starts on the 20th and everything gets shifted properly. And now we are ending the project by the 10th week. Let's now add milestones and in our case the milestones are going to be related with either documents that they need to be finished and delivered by a certain date or documents that they can start working on them uh, from the beginning for example this rd stands for requirements document to add that on our project plan you can add rows into your project I'm going to create a main task called milestones. I'm going to create another row and uh, in, um, incorporate the two documents here. So the first one is the requirements doc and the second one it is the PDR. Same thing here, select the tasks, go to indent to make them subtasks and now to make them milestones. You just need to go to the days and if you tab uh, introduce zero, it will create that diamond shape on the timeline, which indicates that it's a milestone. You can always reverse if you don't want them to be a milestone. You can always put the number of days. In our case, it's a milestone. And our requirements doc, it's kind of the start of that doc from the requirements. We're going to put around the end of week two when we finish meeting with the sponsors and our PDR is going to be that final document that we give our, uh, at the end of week 10. Let's see now how to incorporate task information. If you double click into a task, it's going to open the task information menu. And you have sub -task tabs here that you can access. And we're going to see the notes. You can introduce here notes related with that specific task. So here I'm going to incorporate the name of the project for lack of better name. I'll just put the cleaning robot. And um, 
on general, we also have access to the percent complete that tells you how much of that task is done. So I can have introduce a number there and it shows that black bar and your task or you can also drag that to change the task complete. Notice that you have now a symbol, a node symbol and you can make this a little bit prettier if you want so you can follow, you can write project notes for example. Um, I'm going here just to apply some formatting to the notes. You can put important information here so you don't forget. You can have a meeting with a sponsor and just write the notes that you had with a sponsor here. It's a good way to keep track of what happened throughout the, the quarter. Now is probably a good time to save our project, give whatever name you want to save and your project is going, you have, you can have more than one project open and you can switch them here on the top right corner. Let's see tasks views. We have different tasks views. We just saw the Ghent, now we are seeing the network. It just shows your um, tasks and subtasks in uh, different formats. Here the WBS view and the task usage view. You might not need um, to use these, these views, but it's just good to know that they exist in case you develop more comprehensive project management plans. Let's go back to our Gantt chart and this is the one that we're going to focus on. Let's add some resources. If you go to the tabs resource and if you press resources you're going to be able to add some resources and these can be human resources or uh, actual physical resources you start by putting the name can be the person name or whatever resource you're using double click and you can get information more information about uh, that resource you can have notes tasks all that's good stuff we can change the name here and let's change that to team member one to make it a human resource and on the under type let's add a second team member and then under type i can define if it's a material or a human resource normally work is associated with human resource and if there is there are people with same names you can put some initials here to make them different Let's go back to our task, our again chart, and let's assign those human resources to these tasks. If you go to the resource tab, assign resources. Now you can pick which one you want to assign for that particular one. I'm going to choose team member one. It's going to be devoting 100% of time for that project assignment. I can go and assign two team members. Or in this case, just one with less percentage for example and that information shows in your timeline if you add those resources to milestones let's say that I put 50% for each member to produce the requirements doc you will see that that information does not show up on the timeline but it's still there and we can also have more than one member assigned to one of the tasks so I'm putting team member one uh, let's say 75% and team member two let's put the rest 25 let's assign and here you go that information shows up in your timeline. That's pretty much it for now. A simple way of doing your project into Project Libre. All right, we did the first main uh, task, understand the project. Now as a challenge, you can add the rest of the tasks and subtasks and also add the relevant documents at those periods of time and 
this is just a start for your PMP, your project management plan document.